Welcome to part two. Um, sorry I had to um, cut it in half because it's just get too long and my it takes forever to upload. So um, again, go back to part one to see your other placements. Um, part one is Aries through Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. This is going to be Scorpio through uh, Pisces plus ancestor messages, zodiac signs. Could be dealing with it and all, um, but not limited to, and then guidance as well for part number two. Um, please take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Roles can be reversed, so keep that in mind. This will be what you, uh, your weekly forecast um, from Scorpio to Pisces. Um, I will link part one in the description box below and in the comment section below, along with full moon and cancer um, video as well. I feel like that's really important. Um, also, um, don't forget on the 30th of January, I will give away two to three private personal readings that are 20 minutes um, long for my um, three of my two or three of my subscribers. So make sure you're commenting, make sure you're subscribed, make sure I see you throughout the month. Um, what else? Um, let's see. Um, I told you guys before, I'm telling you now, I told you a lot last year, towards the end of the year, Karma's going to be running the block. Karma's running the block real hardcore this year, okay? So keep that in mind. Anything that has been hidden is coming out. Anything that someone has done shady is coming out. I don't know why. I get, it's going to be in a very peculiar way. Now, that could be uh, individually in your individual life. That could also be, um, you know, globally, communities, um, or, you know, corporations, things like that. Also, politicians, governments, uprisings, um, revolutions as well. So we all need to get prepared for that what else um we still have mercury retrograding i think it's still in capricorn but i'm not sure so don't quote me on that i will be retrograding back into sagittarius um here soon at some point and we have a new moon in capricorn on the 11th of january so 11 so 111 so that's very important for somebody so keep that in mind what else don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit um all notifications that way you know the next time I upload if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation my email is in the description box below okay I think that's it all right so we're gonna start up with Scorpio gang gang two three seven all right all right Scorpio Sun Moon rising Venus and Mars placements don't forget to Scorpio don't forget to like share comment subscribe Hit all notifications, that way you know the, the next time I upload. Go check out part one for your other placements and any of your placements in this part two. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll check out the intro and don't forget about my giveaway on the 30th, okay? All right, let's see what is going on for you this week, Scorpio. Okay, you got temperance, so Sagittarius energy. Balancing things out, healing things, balancing out the, your shadow and your light. Very spiritual card, but the angel usually comes out, and you got two angels coming in right before the tower. So there's something that you've been warned about, or you will be being warned about, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars, okay? You're about to be warned about something this week. Okay. Okay, we have the Eight of Demons, so the Eight of Swords. It's something that you already know in your mind. There's, you got eight spirits. Obviously, test the spirit discern that are coming to you to talk to you about something but you also have two angelic helpers or two angels coming gabriel and michael okay i don't know okay we also got chariot here okay cancer aries sagittarius something about travel moving forward there's healing something it's something that you are something you're going to get a dream a revelation some type of information or download something and you're going to be thinking about it you see how this is like a kid on his bike with a dog okay 
Something about a cancer. Something at a distance as well. Okay. Something that you already know. Temperance. Okay. Four of Cups. You know that there's somebody who's holding back from healing something with you or bringing something in balance with you. T. Somebody here has four of cups, can, four of vessels, four of cups is, you know, Cancer. We've got Sagittarius here. Somebody here is holding back from telling you the truth about a situation. That's too many cards, Spirit. You know it, though. You know it. Spirits are telling you that you know something. Okay. What is it that they know? The magician. Someone is trying to bind your magic. For some reason. Virgo Gemini here. Or there could be a Virgo Gemini who's really stuck in their head about what it is that they know. Or this person may want to speak with you because they feel like they're being, you know, haunted by something or someone. There's someone trying to do magic on you this week or spying on you but you already know the T or a Sagittarius is going to tell you the T or a Cancer is okay but some form of manipulation okay what's the chariot about okay the nine of cups wish fulfillment here Somebody is coming towards you telling you something that they know. They feel anxious or apprehensive about it. It's something regarding this magician energy. Who is trying to bind you magically for whatever reason. But this is you able to manifest anything that you want, but you got to get out of your head as well. What's this four of cups about? Death. Someone's holding back from telling you the truth about someone's passing. Someone doesn't want to tell you that somebody passed away or, or how somebody passed away. Someone's holding back from making a positive change and healing the situation. They're being very stubborn. Okay. Why are they being so stubborn? Two of Wands, two of Angels here. But you can see, they're being shown something. They, okay, the Angel of Death is showing you something. A Grim Reaper, or maybe you're very psychic. Maybe you are a medium, or maybe you are, you deal with the crossroads of some kind. But you can see. Ten of Cups. You can see you're meeting with somebody in spirit that's telling you the truth about something about family or marriage. Someone's telling you the truth about something. There can be a positive change. Okay, two of angels, two of wands. There has to be a choice that has to be made, though. The ace of demons or the ace of swords. That's the truth. Somebody here isn't being honest with you in a family dynamic. But there's light that's being shown on this person. So there's somebody in spirit who's going to come to you however they come to you. It's someone that you have family with. They're going to tell you something about somebody around you. And it's going to be the truth. You're, they're going to guide you to finding something that's going to show the truth. Something's been hidden from you. Someone may also be making a decision to tell you the truth about a situation. Okay. Or tell the truth to others about the lies that they told about you. This person's being shown for who they really, okay, who they really are. Okay. With the Six of Angels or the Six of Wands, it's Leo energy. We got also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries. Something's going to be seen 
publicly some something about coming out or something's going to be seen very publicly someone's putting on a show knight of pentacles or knight of humans here it's been very long time coming for this to come out the someone's coming out to the world i don't know what that means the sun something's being shown something's being seen With the Ten of Pentacles, it could be about a marriage. Something is very, something's coming full circle here. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I mean, it's a very happy, wealthy, abundant, long-term marriage. Something could also be coming out about some type of finances or inheritance, okay? That somebody has manipulated you or stole from you, held back from you. Show me the magician. Yeah, okay. We have the nine of angels or the nine of wands. There's somebody who's, okay, in the spirit world who's very angry with a Virgo Gemini here for, for stealing something from you or manipulating you. You need to have very strong boundaries right now. Like your, your spiritual team is ready to go to war because somebody here has been trying to do something to you magically. Now we have the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups here. You need to up your spiritual protection as well. You know it. Or you're going to be guided to do so. What is this Nine of Cups about? Wishing to move forward with the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take here. Wishing to give equally. Somebody was supposed to give to you equally. There was something that was meant for you. A package or something that somebody took from you. Or mail. Someone took your mail. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo. Taurus. Someone stole something from you. Or somebody wants to be generous with you now. Or they hope that you will be generous with them. Because they need something from you. Knight of, of Cups. They want to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize. About a birthday, something. Yeah, now we have the 999. Nine, nine. You're almost at the completion of a cycle. Now you have nine of pentacles. They wanna they wanna apologize. They wanna be good on their own. They wanna they wanna apologize for something that they've done. What do they do? Yeah, karma. They're about to get some type of karma. Also, there could be a Libra here involved. Someone's getting their karma here for judging you. Mm -hmm. Ten of angels, ten of wands for putting a lot of burdens on you. Maybe even taking from you. Someone stole something from you. Yeah. Page of swords and they watch. They watch you. Page of demons here. There's three people watching you. Their karma... They're watching to try to put burdens on you or somebody. There's three people who work together to create burdens for you for no reason. Yeah. Five of Pentacles because you left them out in the cold. Taurus energy. They, There's someone feels regret about doing something. Yeah. King of Angels here. Okay. That's like, um, could be Archangel Michael here is like looking on this person is like telling them like, yo, what did you do? This King of Wands here. Someone may tell you something that has something to do about a King of Wands, a Leo energy. <sighs> that they're hiding the moon. Two of Pentacles, a choice. They're juggling you. And you could be married to this person. They've lied about this. Archangel Michael is like calling them out though. Something regarding a dog. The reason why they were acting like that is because they were juggling you. Maybe you were married. Maybe there are a lot of people. I don't know. There's something about. 
you see there's like a bunch of like nuns here but they kind of look like I mean they're nuns but they kind of look like witches I don't know why someone is involved with the occult masquerading as someone who is religious or someone thinks you've done something to them magically someone had to make a choice they didn't make the right choice mm -mm. ten of demons ten of swords they did betray you now there's whomever these people are stuck stuck looking on the outside in because you won't let them back in right now yeah hermit you're to yourself virgo energy you're not bothering anybody you're keeping to yourself right now or you will be this week yeah seven of cups because you know you know somebody is keeping you trying to keep you confused the ace of angels which is the ace of wands about some type of action that they took they judged you someone was someone's been pointing their fingers at you and judging you when you really didn't do anything could be a leo strength card here and they're judging you really you've been very loving you work very hard there's a spiritual war going on with the five of angels here over you and there's the general you're going to be told this in a dream or you're going to be told this psychically some way somehow about this spiritual battle going on right now for you but also there's been someone who's been holding back from telling you the truth or trying to stop you from manifesting your dreams and they kind of feel bad about it because they realize that maybe this is what you are supposed to do or what you're meant to do and they kind of feel bad about it last messages please for scorpio okay they kind of feel bad about it so they kind of want to confess that they they've been trying to stop you from getting what you want okay yeah see the tower and the nine of swords reverse this person is terrified and mental torment because they they know a tower is coming a revelation is coming that's going to expose them Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, they're worried about that happening. Yeah, see, Eight of Wands. They're worried about what you will say to them. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You warned this person. There's somebody who might be a little afraid of your spiritual gifts. Because you're, I don't know. Or you might be this way of somebody because of your accuracy. Okay. All right, what's the tower about then? Last message for Scorpio. The star. The tower is a wish. Someone's been wishing a tower comes or something, a tower hits and it gets exposed. Something about an Aquarius. Nine of Swords, reverse. You predicted something. Two of Cups. Someone's very tormented over somebody else's connection. Um, cancer, um, Scorpio, Leo. I feel bad. Yeah, with the moon card. Hidden communications, cancer energy, but also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong. Someone feels bad that they've been talking to somebody who's married about hidden communications. Okay. The star. The page of swords. Watching communication, Gemini energy. Someone wishes to communicate. Okay. Two of cups. Three of cups. Three is a crowd. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here has been talking to a third party and that's coming out. Third party can be anybody. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. They're really terrified that you won't want it. Yeah, see, Will of Fortune reverse. Be until this is whatever this hidden communication is comes out the tables are not going to turn in somebody's favor 
and I feel like they know that. There's somebody here who has to apologize for doing something that they shouldn't have done. Behind your back. Could have been a friend. I feel like there needs to be an apology here. But it might have to be public. Here's the deal. The, the apology needs to be as big, if not bigger, as the disrespect was. Period. And they know the reason why things are not turning out in their favor is because they're lying. They hid a lot. They they did a lot behind your back. Or somebody here lied on you. Moon. Yeah, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Someone secretly wants to heal something with you and come back towards you. Will of fortune reverse. But with a hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. They see something that they didn't see before. They somebody somebody actually sees you as a real friend. You really didn't do anything to this person, and they want maybe to come back towards you. But there's something about someone has is going through. Someone's gonna have terrible nightmares about uh, whatever they've done behind your back. It, is they're gonna have terrible nightmares until they make something right or they tell you the truth. But they realize that it's it could cause an end of something. Ace of Swords, bingo, bingo. That's the truth. The big, the 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 big truth. What is that about leaving somebody out in the cold? Why? Why something happened? Whatever this truth is, you might you might get real mad about it. Four of Cups reversed, but you're gonna be told. You're going to be told this. Or somebody's been in therapy and they want to talk to you. They understand now why you rejected them. Because of how they acted. Okay. Could be someone from the past that you had to defend yourself against. But you haven't spoken to in quite some time. Someone's coming around to make something right with you. I don't know how you feel about that. They've done something. They shouldn't have done behind your back. I kind of feel bad about it, actually, Scorpio. Or, you know, for some of you, this could be you doing it. I don't know. Okay. Last messages. Let's see. Any la any other messages? Anything else that Scorpio needs to know for this week? Okay. Coffin. So something comes to an end here. Somebody who's passed on is talking to you. They're coming a great distance to talk to you, to tell you something that may cause you a, some type of concern. You, you might learn of someone who lives at a distance, they're passing. Okay, if that's not the case, somebody could be a masculine figure is coming a great distance in spirit to come talk to you about something that they're concerned about or whatever they tell you could cause great concern about a privileged lady main female there's two women here hmm. someone in spirit is coming to talk to you could be a masculine or a feminine. It could even be both. From a great distance journey. Pathway. You're, you're meeting somewhere that you guys, you both know. Whatever this is, is going to put you on a better path, a more transformative path. Well, at wealth. To wealth. Okay. Concern. Official person. It's somebody who was in the military. If it's a man, it was somebody who was in the military. Who were also worked very, very hard. They're coming to talk to you. Okay, what are they going to say?
it again message concern and message of concern somebody a masculine who was in the military who's already passed is coming to tell you something who who but they worked very very hard and they might have been in the military or they could have been a police officer but get more so military they're going to help you get to finances here as well then there's a woman in spirit coming to tell you something but this person over here is going to tell you something message of concern what is that something that's been hidden from you could be documents could be messages that have been hidden from you that you're going to find they're going to help you find it or they're going to deliver the message that way you can figure it out where to look or they're going to tell you where to look to find this messages that you're going to un, un you're going to unveil or you're going to open okay that have been hidden Someone hasn't been honest with you. And this masculine is going to come tell you who it is. To see how hard you're working. They also worked very hard. 38 breaks down to 11. What about this privileged lady? Mature man. Okay. Maybe they see you as this privileged lady, okay? Mature man. Could be a father figure here. Or grandfather. Get more father figure. You have poverty and lovers. Somebody's dad that may not be your dad is coming to talk to you. About this woman here they could be a lover it's a family secret about some type of hidden money sudden wealth that was taken from you inheritance possibly okay that was meant for you that you did not receive now that could also be inheritance of like you know finances that could also be in could be a man who took your inheritance adjudication they also could be telling you that your person is hiding money from you with their family mm -hmm. You're being given a gift as well of information, but also a spiritual gift. Okay. Okay, well, that's what I got for you. I don't know why I'm getting an aunt could have sold your inheritance. I don't know. Or something about an inheritance that's left to you by an aunt, an aunt, or something like that. I don't know why I'm going to tell you that. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams. Uh, any psychic insights and, and, you know, intuits or whatever, right? Okay. All right. That's what I got for you, and I'll be back with Sagittarius. I hope that helps you. Hey, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is your weekly forecast. Sorry I wasn't able to get to it on Sunday. Just been busy with family and everything. Um, Sagittarius, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, make sure you check out your other placements. Go back to part one. And um, this is part two for Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Okay? So definitely go to part one. That should be um, in the description box below and in the comment section below. Um, so don't forget to check out your other placements as well. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out this intro here. Check out the other part one, and then also don't forget I'm doing my giveaway on the uh, 30th of January for my subscribers. Um, two or three of my subscribers are going to get free readings with me, okay? All right, let's see. What's going on for Sagittarius, please, this week? Repair, man. Okay, repair, restore, restart, re renovate. Um, be careful of your vehicle um, needing repair this week. You might be meeting somebody who might be a repair man, or you could be this repair man. Athlete, okay, seeking seeker of vitality, exercise, life, strength, and speed. 
Um, be careful, don't drive too fast. You might need to get a repair on your vehicle. Or be careful of like, you know, getting physically injured or, or anything like that this week. Like a, you could be an athlete and you might have to repair something or be, be careful getting injured on the job. Okay. Maybe you're walking more. Mother, okay. Selfless love, nurturer, source of life, maternal patience, and comforter. Hmm. Sagittarius, you're 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 running to go repair something with a mother figure. Or you're telling somebody to come and repair something with a mother figure quickly. Sagittarius. You're, you're okay so you, I'm not a doctor but there's something about your vitality that is being um, recalibrated something I don't know some of you could be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant or something like that or motherhood or fatherhood could be coming up soon if that's something you want to you want guide okay navigator progress progress and direction um, there's a course course correction happening for you you're being guided spiritually from some type of course correction okay exactly okay you got spiritual seeker de devotee of the inner path meditation insight and practice you need to relax your mind your mind is going way too fast you need to relax a little bit okay but you are getting downloads fast downloads of the full ignorance rashness and impulsiveness be careful of doing anything impulsive this week or something about a mother figure okay of doing something very impulsive okay okay revolutionist okay champion of the transformation freedom fighter pursuer of welfare and justice okay you're being guided to have justice a revolution in your life okay spiritual seeker coach train nurture develop a plan encourage and support you are being spiritually supported through this process of, I don't know, something about recalibration of spiritual gifts, but also physically, physical recalibration. Okay, the cool. Singer. Resonance, moving hearts, harmony, emotion, and performance. You could be in love with a singer, or you could be the singer. Okay. What else, please? There could be some type of, um, like, uprising or, like, some type of riot in your area. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay. Be careful of getting lost while you're traveling to find a repair shop. Hold on. Excuse me, with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, some of you might get lost at work. Pay attention to the details of any contracts or repair contracts, okay, please? Because you might want to make sure you pay attention to the details there. Yeah, Will of Fortune, things are starting to turn in your favor, but you got to pay attention to the details right now, okay? And you have the lovers in the reverse, some form of infidelity or a breakdown of a relationship, Gemini energy. Knight of Wands, be careful of who you work with right now. Sorry, King of Wands, Leo Energy, Aries Sagittarius at work. No longer wanting to work with this person. You don't want to work with somebody anymore. You're not working with, working for anymore. Okay. Nine of Cups, things will be moving forward in the way that you want. Your wishes will come true. But just make sure, be careful what you wish for, right? The lovers reverse. The tower. Okay. Aries Scorpio. Four of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Right here it's in reverse. Something is not stable. Okay. You have something that you need to tell somebody. You hope that somebody will come towards you and choose you. It's going to cause a tower. You have something to tell somebody that you're close to. Or they have something to tell you. But you realize it's going to cause a tower moment. I 
feel like you kind of feel bad about it, though. What's this tower about? Yeah, you feel bad for lying. Someone is getting in trouble for lying or playing some type of game with somebody. Okay. Ace of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here is getting played, and you know it. Five of Wands reverse. Somebody doesn't want the drama, the conflict, the fighting, the bickering, the rivalry. Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody's gonna. Someone's lying. They. Someone is gonna go back. Someone's gonna go back to the main person if that's how it applies. Ace of Cups reverse. Nine of Swords. You feel really bad. You feel really, really bad because somebody like pours out love to you. You feel guilty. You feel bad. Okay. Well, you can't change what's already been done, right? Ace of Wands. But you can take appropriate action with the Ace of Wands. It was about passion. wasn't about love. But the only thing you can do is move forward now, right? Can't change what's already been done. Right? Anything else, please? justice card somebody here is going to get justice for something someone um, could be an attorney someone may need an attorney okay yeah someone's getting caught someone there's no defense for whatever somebody has done someone's kind of no defense for this someone's getting caught doing something love you wish for love okay you want to apologize you don't you didn't realize somebody here was being abused abusive communication someone's being abused okay you're you're catching wind of that yeah someone's also been betrayed and because they've been betrayed their person was being abusive towards them somebody who really loves you or really cares about you or somebody that you really care about maybe you betrayed them you betrayed somebody you really cared about okay yeah see the seven of swords in reverse a lie is coming out someone's confessing the truth maybe you're confessing the truth yep you're confessing the truth with the garden here you realize somebody may turn their back on you be very cold towards you but you're going to tell somebody the truth okay yeah, that they've been lied to. And you realize it's only a matter of time for it came out anyways. Or you are going to confess this or somebody's confessing this to you. Okay. This is someone who who has given you a lot of support that you really do care about. This person has been very supportive of you. I feel like you betrayed them. someone who cares about you loves you very much I feel like you care you do ultimately care about this person but you feel bad you feel bad maybe you've betrayed them with their person yeah and you're hiding it behind a mask I feel like you've tried to tell them a few times like a confession here you're gonna take you're gonna take the chance here to tell the truth You're gonna, yep. You're gonna take a chance. You're gonna communicate with this person. You're gonna tell them the truth. Yeah, they may walk away from you, but or they may cut off contact with you in secret. You're worried about that. You've been talking to somebody at night, and you're cutting off com communication with this person because you feel bad for for betraying them you feel bad the gossip the risk taking hidden lying you feel bad I feel like you feel bad or somebody around you feels hella bad for lying or something okay 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 well, I mean, if you feel like it's the right thing to do, then, then yes, I would encourage you to be honest. 
I'm not going to encourage you to lie. Just do it in a safe manner, right? Because it, it feels like it's kept you stuck because you have something you need to tell somebody. Okay. I just heard, oh shit, she knows. Oh, okay. Oh shit, she knows. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay. All right. I hope that helps you, honey. I'll be back with Capricorn in one second. Hey, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. This is your weekly forecast. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, also, too, um, don't forget to check out your other placements, even if you have to go to part one. Um, and don't forget to... Um, uh, Check out the intro on this video and part one for giveaway information that I'll be doing on the 30th, okay? All right, what's going on for Capricorn, please, this week? Show me Capricorn. Okay, you're showing up in your own reading, in your power, even though it is the devil card, but that is, you know, you are, you know, happy birthday, Capricorn, by the way. You're showing up in your own reading. You're showing up in full power. Okay. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse, you want... You want to go back to somebody? You, or you want somebody to come back towards you? But it's somebody that you've hurt or somebody that has hurt you with the Three of Swords there. Mm -hmm. The Devil? Yeah, Ten of Cups. You want your family. You want your marriage. You want your family. You want all those things. But somebody here is going back towards somebody and it's breaking your heart. King of Cups reverse, okay, or you want a, a, a well, kings in reverse can be queens. You want somebody to come back and share with you emotionally, okay? Three of Swords, but they're they're hurt, or you are judgment. Someone's making a final decision that is breaking your heart, or you are making this final decision that's breaking somebody else's heart. Judgment there, we got sagittarius scorpio it is a final decision it's very emotional for this person to make this final decision but they have to make this decision all right yeah see six of wands somebody you want victory in a family dynamic or in a marriage yeah see will of fortune this person's moving forward but you want them to come back towards you tables are turning this person's moving forward here judgment yeah eight of swords you are heartbroken by this person's decision. You are because you feel like this person is walking away from you. They might be because they have to. Or they're very stuck in their head because they feel like you're making a final decision. Someone's about to be heartbroken. Someone overdid it with hurting somebody. And they are making a final decision. Someone also, I don't know. Someone could be going to jail for something. Nine of Wands. Someone's keeping their boundaries up with you. They have to. Are you them? Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. You want you want them to come back towards you. But they're they're very strong in their boundaries. Yeah. They are rejecting this offer from you. Because they feel like it's not genuine. Whether it is or not, okay? They don't trust it. Somebody's rejecting your offer. Potentially. Message. You are, you're concerned of what somebody else is going to say to you. Money. You, okay. You could be worried about finances as well. And then a wealthy man. You're afraid of whatever... A wealthy man may say to you by something you've said or done you haven't done right by somebody you left you left somebody out in the cold for no apparent reason now you want to come back or they want to come back I feel like someone here is afraid of what that person may say I feel like you're afraid of what somebody may say to you based on how you treated them or them they you know they may be afraid of what you might say based on how they've treated you okay all right that's what i got for you i'll be back with aquarius one second 
Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. This is your weekly forecast. I hope you're doing well. Sorry I got this out late. I've been very busy with family and the holidays and everything and getting over this nasty cold. So I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And don't forget to check out your other placements even if you have to go to part one. Because I had to split it in two so it would be too terribly long. Um definitely go and check that out and um don't forget about uh, i'm going to be doing a giveaway again for my subscribers two or maybe even three of my subscribers will get a free readings from me and i will announce the winners at on uh, in the end of january about the right about the 30th okay all right let's see what's going on for you aquarius show me aquarius put me this other way Uh, Spirit wanted me to show you guys, um, let you guys see the table and the cards this time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys like this or not, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. We got the King of Cups. We have the Magician. So we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. You or somebody else here is trying to manifest the other person back, and it's it's a no. It's being blocked. Doors are closed. It's locked. It's, it's done. You or somebody else here. Someone is in their power, though. They're very stoic, very emotionally mature, but I feel like they, no. They're, manif they're busy manifesting, and right now they are protecting themselves, or you are protecting themselves from any of this. If somebody here is trying to do magic on you, it's not getting through. If you're trying to do magic on somebody else, it's not getting through. If you're trying to manifest somebody, it's not getting through. Someone is busy, like, working on something right now. Show me the king. Of, okay. Star in the reverse. Someone does not wish to come back with the three of pentacles in the reverse. If somebody here has been trying to do root work on you, it's not working. Or you, them, it's not working. Somebody here is about to have a massive fall from grace. Somebody is, is not healing something with you. No. Four of Pentacles here with a six of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is not going, someone's cutting you off financially or you're cutting somebody off financially. Yeah. Somebody needs to get a job. You're not getting on the same page possibly with a Virgo or a Gemini. No. You're closing, you're, you're saving your money. You're only, you're not, no. It feels like you're also hiding money from somebody. Yeah, the moon in reverse. It's a secret's coming out about you that you've been holding back or, or somebody. Yeah, the world in reverse. Somebody, Something's coming full circle, something from the past. Something that you or Gemini has done is coming back around for the past. Yeah, the sun. Someone is no longer going to be giving to you anymore. Mm-mm. There's something that you you want help financially from somebody. Possibly a Leo. A secret's coming out to the world about something. What's this? Sun? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Wish and happiness. Somebody's not letting you disturb their peace or you're not disturbing somebody else's peace. Okay. And having a new beginning. Somebody, There's a Leo who's taking a leap of faith here and choosing a new direction. Yeah, King of Swords. You want to talk to this person. You want this person to come back towards you, but I don't feel like they're going to. Aquarius? Um, let me see. What is that? Where is that deck at? Hold on. What is that moon in reverse about? Something that... Ooh, why is that? Okay, these cards don't belong. One second. Yeah, some form of gossip. I'm going to take them. The sun is being exposed and heart. Somebody's been gossiping, pillow talking with a lover. So we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's coming to light. What's coming to light is court and house. Someone's going to court over a house or evicting someone from a house. Or someone has to go to a courthouse for something. Yeah, main person in reverse. It's not the main person who's doing it. 
I don't know. What is this about? Yeah, short illness in reverse. Somebody's not actually sick. Um, someone could actually just be pregnant. Secrets coming out about a pregnancy. Somebody here is worried about going to court because someone's pregnant and losing a child. Or like, you know, in custody or something. Yeah, okay, there's a fight here. Someone doesn't want to fight the main person. This main male doesn't want to fight the main person. Um, a short distance or travel. A journey here someone may not be traveling to see you right now he's not even thinking about it right now or thinking about a child that's not what he wants oh or she wants or something yeah great happiness someone's actually very happy they're trying to cultivate happiness what's the sun you got the sun twice leo twice okay show me the sun over here the truth is that some, someone's getting exposed for being a liar and a cheat and a thief okay yeah, someone could actually go to jail for something, for stealing something. Someone is very happy because they're getting some type of unexpected money from work. Good lady in reverse. This person is not a good person. Or somebody's hiding something about somebody. Yeah, this person, whomever this good lady is, she's been lied to or lied on. She has an expectation of this person anymore big hope and water main person but she does love this main person in reverse very much so maybe she's been lied on someone may not see you as a good person or you may not see somebody as a good person after this yeah there's a some form of communication that you're going to give to somebody or someone's going to give to you what is it about a good gentleman could be a leo rich good gentleman but they don't have that kind of money that you're looking for they want their honor and integrity to stay in their relationship Aquarius or you do somebody doesn't they want to have success in love but they want they want it to be honorable they want to do the honorable thing that's what I heard but what that would mean is that somebody here has to tell the truth to somebody Someone wants to do the honorable thing. Or tell somebody the truth about a situation. Okay. So, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be getting exposed um, this year. For sure. Okay. So, keep that in mind. That's what I got for you, of course. I'll be back with Pisces. One second. Hey, Pisces. Welcome to, um, you got Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Welcome to your weekly forecast. I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Many blessings. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Um, definitely check out your other placements, including in part one. I had to do it in two parts because it became too long. And um, don't forget to check out this intro, the intro from part one, and don't forget about my giveaway for my um, two, or two, two or three of my subscribers are going to get free readings from me at the end of the month, okay? All right, let's see. What's going on for you, Pisces? Okay, they don't want to take jumpers for you. How many shuffles? Three. One. Okay. And two. One more. And three. Cut the deck. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we'll take them from the top. There we are. All right. Eight of Wands, communication, passionate communication, fiery communication. That could be, you know, um, that could be, you know, lusty, desirable, or it could be very angry communication. So keep that in mind. Okay. Ten, two of Swords. You want somebody to communicate a choice. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. You want somebody to make a choice between you and somebody else. Seven of Pentacles. And then you want somebody to equally invest in you. Virgo Energy, Seven of Pentacles here. Or you want to talk about a, somebody doing something in the workplace. Yeah. 
four of wands reverse you want to talk about somebody not being faithful to you or you them there's some talk about some type of infidelity here that needs to talk about or talking about in some form of instability or breakdown of a connection or marriage two of swords eight of cups you want someone to choose either to be with you or to walk away from a marriage you want someone to make a decision seven of pentacles okay seven of pentacles hermit virgo energy the devil okay you invested a lot into somebody who was basically um the devil at least that's what you feel you think you invested somebody who was very toxic you want somebody to heal their toxicity could be a virgo you invested a lot into this person who might have been very greedy and they like to have a lot of different choices between you and somebody else this other person could be a blonde maybe or have like blondish reddish hair yeah the fool um, well you're not a fool i want to look at it like that it just didn't pan out right yeah king of wands reverse this person is a bit of a bully they're foolish they're arrogant you want that you feel like this person is going to regret this shit you might have had a choice between two people I got Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone has very toxic thoughts, so they're not even trying to heal their toxicity here. Judgment in reverse. Yeah, you feel like some, Sagittarius, Scorpio, they made a very bad decision. Oh, yeah. Or maybe you feel like you did. You're giving somebody an ultimatum this week. Uh huh. Yeah. What is that ultimatum about? Regarding work, you want somebody. You feel like someone's having an affair on you in the workplace. Are you worried about your this coming out about the work? Yeah, false person. You feel like somebody here is lying about somebody in the workplace, or you are going to be found out to to have lied about somebody in the workplace. For clout is what I heard. You're having very dark and gloomy thoughts about what if this comes out. You could live at a distance. Okay. Or traveling. You're traveling to someone's house to tell them the truth or to say you're sorry sad news and his and his thoughts someone's someone mm, sad news about somebody at work but in your in your mind or in somebody's mind they think that somebody else is lying military person some a military person could come to tell you something oh I don't know bad news to your house about a good gentleman somebody they know meetings meetings at somebody's house you're you're meeting somebody at their house or you're there could be an argument with somebody at their house because they lied someone okay if you're traveling for work maybe you're were in the military or are in the military Somebody here is finding out that while they're out of town, somebody is meeting with somebody at their house and traveling with them. Expectation. You expected someone to stay married. You expected someone to stay married. Or you expected someone to honor their marriage. Receiving a gift. You want to give somebody a wedding gift and, and restore your honor. Okay. A court person. You expected, okay, you, you expected somebody that you're with to honor their marriage commitments. I don't know if they did. Yeah, you wanted to have success in love with this person. Or someone's telling you that they have to have money in order to leave a marriage. There's children involved. In court. You're worried about what will happen in court. Somebody's meeting either either someone is meeting. You expected someone to keep their marriage commitment to you while you were out of town. 
if that's not the case you're meeting some someone or if you're travel for work somebody is meeting with somebody at your house while you're at work traveling you're finding that out but you expected someone to keep their marriage vows while you were out of town i don't think they did um if that's not the case you're going to somebody's house to tell them the truth about their partner their husband their wife if that's not the case then um you have custody court i'm not a lawyer it's not legal advice and your person could be reaching out to an ex-husband or ex-wife to be um to speak out for them or you know to, to testify for them i don't know what that's about what is it about anything else last messages please for pisces educator imparter mentor guide and teacher and then we got young vitality innovation personal growth potential growth you have something that you want to teach somebody in your life or somebody that you thought was just really kind of young younger than you maybe dumb or more imm immature or is really the guide and the teacher here yeah traveler this person long journey here this person's very smart or someone's meet with somebody younger at their house okay child diviner you thought somebody was just a child but really they're an educator they're a mentor to you you thought you were the mentor to this person but really they're your mentor diviner this person is very spiritual they have a gift of foresight here cosmic connection they could be into divination tarot psychic divination or this was already um told to you that somebody here is uh who the child's father is or who the child really is okay but this person you know they could be younger than you but they're really they're really your coach your teacher not the other way around you're going to take a risk you feel like you will end up making feel like you'll end up feeling stupid but you're going to take a risk here farmer cultivation harvest and land yeah you feel like this person can teach you how to cultivate something your spiritual gifts maybe okay reader someone is a reader someone likes to read books someone is is a, is a reader is a tarot reader they can give you you want to get a reading from this person okay that's cool or you could be a reader but i feel like more so you were you're thinking about a reading that somebody else did for you you thought this person was very childish or young or stupid or naive but really they're your teacher not you you're not their teacher they're yours i don't know okay maybe someone told you this or this was already foretold to you or maybe you want to get a reading from somebody that who used to read for you i don't know okay all right, let's go to ancestor messages for you zodiac sign one oh three two nine okay all right ancestor message spirit please give me one ancestor message please for this week for each zodiac sign from aries to pisces in that order one ancestor message please what do the ancestors want the each zodiac sign to focus on or try to focus on this week thank you spirit here we go all right, so Aries, your ancestors say, Earth Guardians, stay, stay rooted and grounded. Ground your in energy. All right, Taurus, Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action. Gemini, you got Sky Father, trust in the unknown. Cancer, you got Direction Guardian, choose your path, Cancer. Okay, Leo, you got Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted by the Earth. Okay, Virgo, you got Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy, Virgo. Libra, you got Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. Okay, Scorpio, you got Seer. Be see beyond the current situation. 
you're a diviner. You're very psychic. You're getting an upgrade in psychic gifts and abilities right now. Okay. Sagittarius, you've got Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right, Sagittarius. Um, Capricorn, you've got Traitor. Um, exchange energy to create abundance. Aquarius, you've got Guardian Angel. You are not alone, Aquarius. And Pisces, you've got Warrior. Be fearless and stay and stand strong, Pisces. Okay. All right. Let's see. Zodiac signs. You could be dealing with, but not limited to. One oh five two two. All right. Let's see. Guidance, please. Or not guidance. I'm sorry. So Aries, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, Taurus, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Gemini. Oh, you could be also dealing with a Scorpio. Cancer. An Aries. Leo, you could be dealing with Gemini. Virgo, you could be dealing with. Aquarius. Libra, you could be dealing with potentially this week. A Sagittarius. Scorpio, you could be dealing with yourself or another Scorpio. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or yourself. Another Sagittarius or yourself. Capricorn, okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, Aquarius, you could be dealing with. Aries and Pisces, who could you potentially be dealing with? Leo. Okay. All right, let's see. Guidance. 10652. Uh, All right, guidance. Spirit, please give me guidance for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order. Guidance, please, for all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order, please, Spirit. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, Spirit, for all 12 zodiac signs. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. So, Aries, your guidance is tangled up, powerless. Take your power back. Taurus, your guidance is crystals, healing energy. Heal. Gemini, your guidance is heartbroken, enduring intense pain and loss. You must heal it. You must feel it to heal it, right? Um, with a different cancer, you've got witch's hat, roles and responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself, okay? What is your role in this? Leo, you've got self-love. You are worthy. So focus on self-care, self-worth, and self-respect. Virgo, you've got spider spirit, meticulous and patient. You need to be patient this week. Libra, you've got RIP endings. You're ending something. Or someone's ending something with you. Scorpio, witch's book, secretly hidden. Don't speak on what you know, Scorpio. Okay, Sagittarius, you got elixir, finding a cure and a solution to whatever is ailing you, okay, or bothering you. Capricorn, you got sun, happiness and success, okay, if you want happiness and success, you must be honest and give clarity, okay, or you're very happy this week. Aquarius, you got Ouija, communication, okay, you need to communicate something, all right, Pisces, you got Palo Santo, purification, clear out negative energy, so you need to clear out your home, yourself, your, your computer, everything, your phone, Anything of negative energy is okay, Pisces. All right, well, that's what I got for guidance. Um, please go check out part one for uh, the part one was Aries through Libra, okay, um, their portion. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. I love you guys so much. Don't forget about the giveaway. Check out the intro for this video and the part one, and I will talk to you later. I love you guys. Bye.